Now in this video we are going to cover the last part of the control statements that is a jump statement. As here in the jump statement you can jump from one location to any other location inside a program very easily. So let's see what all jump statement we are going to have here. Like first of all you can see break which we have already used in a couple of programs and we have seen that in switch as well. Continue, go to and return. So let's see individually what are these statements are going to do for us. Like first of all you can have a look on this break statement. Like here whenever you want to terminate a loop or a switch statement you can use this break statement. Like here as soon as the conditional code will be there you can and your condition is satisfying you can terminate that loop and any situation. Similarly the same scenario is with switch also like whenever you put it there the break you put it there that particular case will be terminated. But if I talk about continue this will do something differently. It actually skips a particular loop cycle. For example if you are running a loop from 1 to 10 and you want to skip a particular cycle when i value is 5 so you can do that with the continue as it will actually skip that particular part when that particular given condition will be true. Given condition means when you want to skip that particular loop. You can put a continue only inside a loop only. Next is this go to statement for which you will have to put a label first of all and at that particular label you can jump from use by using this go to statement. Make sure your switch and go to statement must be there in the same method only. So let's go practically and implement all these jump statements practically. In this example we will see about the jump statements. So first of all let's go through the break statement. As we have already seen the break statement in a couple of cases like in switch as well as in the prime number program of for loop we saw break statement will simply terminate the particular switch or loop whenever it got executed. So I am just doing the same. In this for loop I am executing this from 1 to 10 and as soon as I will reach 5 I will terminate this loop. So while I am printing this value I will be till 1, 2, 3 and 4. As soon as it will reach 5 the loop will be terminated like this. So you can see since we have executed for the 10 times but as I broke it when i is 5 we just got the output till 4. Now I replace that break with the continue. What continue will do it will actually skip a particular cycle. As you can see this loop is running from 1 to 10. Whenever it will be at 5 that cycle will be skipped and none of the statement after this will get printed and it will automatically send it to this particular statement where the next value will be evaluated but it will not terminate the execution of the loop. So let's find it here. You can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 5 got skipped. Similarly if you want to put it multiple times like if i is equal equal to 7 then in both the cases 5 and 7 it will be skipped. Now let's go through a go to statement. Nowadays programmer actually doesn't prefer using it much but yes we have an option. So let's see it. Here you can see like i is equal to 1 and right after this I have used abc. What is this abc called? This is a label. You can give any name to a particular statement by the set of by passing a label and whenever you want you can just jump to this place. So what will happen? Like i is started from 1, console.write line i, 1 got printed, it's incremented and now it says if i is less than or equal to 10. If it is like that, I say go to abc. abc means all the statement after this particular label will be executed again. So it is actually a backward jump and uh, again this console.write line will print the value of i, again i will get incremented and this condition will be checked. So it will happen till i is equal to 10 and 
even though I haven't used any loop things right here, but you can see output like a loop. So you can plan how you want to use this go to statement in your programming. And at last, let's find out the another jump statement called return. As break is used to terminate the switch or iterational statement, return statement will terminate the complete method. As in this example, what I'm doing is I'm taking two numbers from the user, I'm dividing them and then showing the result. But as we know, we cannot divide a number, an integer with zero. So what I said, if num2, that is the denominator, if it is equal to zero, I'll print this message and I say return. As soon as I'll say return, this method will be terminated like this. Let's see in the output. So first number is 10, second number is zero cannot divide a number by zero. So as soon as the result, uh, the control will be here in the return, let's see how it will be working. 10, zero, and uh, you see, the control is now here, return, and the pro method got terminated. When we will cover the method as a separate topic, we will find how we can use this return statement to pass a value from one function to another. But for now, let's keep it till terminating the method. So this is what all about your jump statements.